oh wow, I didn't get a notification for this, but there are loads of youngsters here. <laughs> wow, so we're gonna neaten it up. Anyway, Welcome back guys to the Crystal Palace Road to Glory. Hope you're all good and you've had a great week so far. So the lads are all on international duty. So that gives us an opportunity to look at the Eagle Academy. Do you like that? I like the sound of that, you know, the Eagle Academy. <laughs> So let's start off with our scout reports. I remember in the Democratic Republic of Congo, we are looking for the next Yannick Balassi. Let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. I didn't get a notification for this, but there are loads of youngsters here. <laughs> wow. So we're going to neaten it up. Anybody with a potential less than 90, we are going to release them. I say 90, let's say 85. So that leaves these four on our scouting trip to the Democratic Republic of Congo. And let's look at our English scouting update as we look for the next striking phenom. So the same thing here as well. We're going to remove anybody who's lower than 85. And that leaves us with these five prospects. And you know who looks like a talent? These two. Joel Manning. He looks like he's going to be a right talent as a centre forward. Five foot seven, 17 years old, 66 to 88 potential. 81 to 91 pace which is really good he has good shooting good dribbling for his age and we can definitely do something with this guy you know we're going to try to bring him and we're also going to bring up joshua french as well so let's have a quick look at those two youngsters that we added to our youth squad so we have joshua french 51 overall age 15 5 foot 9 171 can play as a target forward, poacher and an advanced forward. Pretty decent for his age, 69 acceleration, agility 73, balance 59, sprint speed 71, attacking positioning 60 already. Has good interceptions and good reactions and 62 strength at only age of 15. This is a very, very tidy player. Ball control 63, finishing 51. So we definitely have things to play with, to be honest. Good first touch and has tricks to the have Five star if he has tricks though. Well, four, four star on skill moves. You know, decent decent amount of potential for the age um, and for the position as well. Nice to see how they develop. And let's look at the next person. I believe it was Manning that we brought up. And look at this. Wow. Guys, we may have packed or we may have got a legendary player, guys. We are actually going to retrain him to be a centre forward because that's what we're looking for out of England. But this person could be the next Michael Owen. Joel Manning, age 17, 5 foot 7. He could definitely be the next Michael Owen. He can be as a force nine and as a pole char. Very, very good physical attributes. Acceleration 84, agility balance, sprint speed. It's all pretty good. It's all there. He just needs to get his stamina up, to be honest. Attacking position 54, great composure, good reactions, good vision. Wow, he's going to be nice. Ball control 72, crossing 61. And we have found another great player, guys. We have another great player. He hasn't got any play styles, which is a little bit worrying. But we are going to train him up to be our pacey centre forward in the future. We are going to now take part in the youth tournament for this month. So our starting lineup is going to be Serge Diara on the left-hand side. Very young, pacey winger. Popov, our right back and left back who's coming through the ranks good defensive attributes for his age and where he is in his career so far Boateng remember the guy we're training to be much more rounded as a box-to-box -box midfielder and potentially the first Sierra Leonean player to play for us and then end him with Maximov on the right hand side who I know he's gonna be a star one day for sure acceleration 88 get his sprint speed up and he's gonna be cooking for us <laughs> anyways let's go Oh, we just missed that one. Goes to Bol Bolting got the back by himself. Who is this guy? He's a unit. Oh, first time. Great save from the goalkeeper. Well done, Popov. Oh, Popov Maximov has got this one. He still has the ball. He's going to square it. Sweaty goal. Whoa, let's go. Maximov squaring it off to his partner. And the youth get their first goal. 
Oh, we nip it away again. Diara is in once more. Sets himself round the keeper. Ref, that's a penalty. Oh, wow. This is cool. Diara. Oh, we messed that up. Come on, Popo. Clear it. Oh, he should have cleared that out. And it's 1-1. And it's intercepted again. Diara in one more time. He sees Maximov on the other side. Maximov smashes it. And the youth players get in. <laughs> Good celebration. Let's go. Next. Interception. And Boateng's pulling away. Gives it to Popov, the fullback. Sets himself nicely. And slots it into the bottom corner. <laughs> Yo, the youth players have the best celebrations. And we win the first game. The quarter-final, actually, in this youth tournament. And Serge Diarra is the man of the match. And we're actually going to sw um, switch it up a bit more in the next game. And we are in the semi-final against Brighton and Hove Albion Youth. So in this game, we are actually going to switch it up a bit more and bring in those two young English wingers that we found. So the first one being Davy, who we retrained to be as a right midfielder. And the next one is going to be on the left. I think his name was... Yeah, Davison. So we're going to switch in these two guys. Davy is very pacey. Acceleration 88, sprint speed 85 already. Good ball control and finishing. It's just these dribbling that we need to um, train up a bit more. And then we also have Davison on the left-hand side, who's, you know, ju just as quick, to be honest. Um, but we just also have to improve his dribbling. And as you guys know, we're retraining Manin to be a centre-forward. So we're also going to bring him on for Boateng um, in the centre of the park. And we're going to take out Popov and play Ishikawa. So very, very pacey. Oh, look at that. Straight off the cuff. Oh, the pace is telling. Oh, let's go. <laughs> what a finish. What a finish. He was straight out of the blocks. He came out of the traps like a racehorse. Davy. Whew. What a start by Davy. That was, that was quite something. Straight from the kickoff, showed his pace, showed that he is not at the same stage as these guys. He is a level above and they need to put respect on his name. Goes to Manning, the young centre forward, a few step overs, gives it to Davison, chops on his right foot. Davison, oh, he just flashes one, nearly caught them on, forced the Davy once again. And if there's one player they don't want to do that with, it's Davy. Oh, and he nearly gets his second goal. Yeah, Davy's going to be really nice to play with. I can already tell. Davy, Popov, I mean Maximov. We have a nice crop of youngsters coming through. Goes to Manning. Chops inside. Manning. Oh, he just couldn't get it in the top corner. Um, and we're on to the final. Let's see who's got man of the match. Should be Davy. Yeah, Davy, man of the match. Really, really good performance from him. I also like what I saw from Manning and Davison, to be honest. Um, nice and pacey. And it looks like we have a strong English core coming through. Look at the size of Harry Tucker, man, compared to these guys. <laughs> In the final, we're up against Norwich City. Let's see how we can affect the lineup. See, the only thing is that Maximov and Davy are both right wingers. That's the only thing that's worrying me. I think they both deserve to play this this final match. So we're going to put in Maximov on the left and we're going to leave Davy on the right hand side. Then we're going to bring Popov back in and we're going to put Boateng in the centre of the midfield once again. Let's go. Yeah, he is rapid. He is absolutely rapid. Goes to Maximov. Same can be said for Maximov, to be fair. Maximov. Oh, he couldn't place it in the far corner. Popov. The fullback, the young Russian fullback. That came in the same class as Maximov. Nearly caught him out. Goes to Davy. Oh, great first time ball. Maximov is in. And Maximov wasn't going to miss this one. Great goal by the youngster. Come on. Come on. Oh, played that really well. Maximov picks up the ball. 
sees the run down the center, gives it to somebody else. First time, oh, he was offside. Boateng giving it to Popov. Popov playing really well. Can he cross it in? He can. Maximov again. Oh, couldn't get the shot off. Oh, well done, Maximov. Wins this really well. Oh, show some trickery. Pass to his teammate. Great play by Maximov and Popov. Supplying the width. Gets the killer second goal. You know, I'm learning things. That position that um, Davies in is a defensive position. Nice play by Davy. Oh, he couldn't get it through to Maximov again. Maximov is a definite star. He has a level head on his shoulders. Knows when to pick the right pass out. Knows when to press. And he's in here again. And they're not going to catch him. Knows when to press. Oh, he just misses. Knows when to pass. Knows when to shoot. And he's definitely set out for a huge future. And there's the full-time whistle. And we win the final of this. Maximov getting another man of the match performance. Davy having a strong performance. Popov really well as a right back fullback. Great stamina on the wing. And um, Freddy Boateng a combative box to box performance. So we've won this month's youth tournament. And you know what? They need to find a way to make the rush tournament a bit more difficult. I'm going to keep on doing them so we can keep an eye on the development of our youth players. But they definitely need to make it more challenging. Fabrizio Romano tweeting about Diara, the young winger who featured in the first game of our youth. Um, and yeah, we have a good crop of players coming through. Can't complain. Let's take a quick look at all of our youth players to end the episode. So let's go to Academy and then let's look at our youth squad. First off, we have Liam Simmons, six foot four goalkeeper that we found. His diving is only 20, which isn't good, but I think that's a bug with most of the goalkeepers that are being um, found in this year's career mode. He has far throw, which is always good for a sweeper keeper counter attacking team. And his stats are pretty good, to be honest. Um, only age 17, so he has a long way to go. I'm more, I haven't really been focusing on him too much. Most of my efforts have been going towards um, Tucker. Tucker has an overall potential of 79 to 93. He has, he's diving is just a bit better than Simmons, to be honest. But Simmons is a year older than him. So that's where you can see that disparity in the stats there. All right reflexes and positioning, 59-65, but definitely has a long way to go if he's going to be pushing for the first team berth in the Crystal Palace side. But height at 6'7 six, six is definitely a plus for a goalkeeper. Then we have Ishikawa, overall potential is only 62 to 74, but when I looked at um, the stats, I think he, he has pretty decent stats for a centre-back, someone that we can definitely nurture and have within the side as a backup player to whatever first team fullback that we have. Good aggression, good interceptions, good strength, decent acceleration and agility can do with a bit more work. In terms of like slide tackle and stand tackle, both are 65, so there's definitely some good elements there. And he can play left back and centre back, so definitely going to help in terms of squad depth. Then we have Popov, who featured heavily in the youth tournament good pace good defending and good physical attributes and he can pass at his very young age already so we're training him from an acceleration and fallback perspective training his strength and aggression get his interceptions up so trying to round him out as a defensive player slide tackle 62 and as you can see ishikawa you know much better defensive attributes from a slide tackle and standing tackle perspective but the one thing that's letting both of them down really is that defensive awareness that as you can see 29 for ishikawa and 38 for popov so these are two stats that we definitely want want to see some improvement in over the next few years otherwise we may have to look for better options next up we have seka whose overall potential is 89 to 94 and to be honest, I haven't really, I don't 100% know where Seca's best position is going to be. He's not really the quickest that we have as a wing player. Only 15 right now, 5 foot 6 in height, decent speed and dribbling down at 42. Maybe we may need to change him to another position, potentially. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I'm not sure if the wing is going to be his um, 
ending position. Very high potential though when you um, when you look at it. Very high potential, but I'm not sure if that's down to weak foot. Is it down to skill moves? I'm not sure, but um, yeah, he's definitely in the ranks as well. Then we have Serge Diara, who was singled out by Romano as one for the future overall potential, which I believe is the highest amongst all of the players that we have. Can play left midfield and right wing, very pacey, good dribbling, good attacking position, and then only 17 years of age and five foot seven. And this is possibly, guys, the next Wilfred Zaha in our team. We found Serge Diara in Ivory Coast, so same country and could potentially be the region that we are looking for to take over the legacy that Wilfred Zaha left. So the only thing really lacking, and you'll see in most of these plays, is the dribbling stat. I'm not sure if that's a bug. It's weird, it must be a bug of some sort because the goalkeepers have poor diving, which is crucial to them. The defensive players have poor defensive awareness, which is crucial to them. And then the wingers have poor dribbling, which is crucial to them. So I don't know what EA was doing this year, but they definitely need to have a look at that. But we have put them on training plans, which can positively impact their dribbling. So hopefully that does go up in the future. Should go up, to be honest. Diara, yeah, very pacey and the highest rated player in our youth academy so far. Next up, we have Charles Davison, who is one out of two young English wingers that we scouted together and brought them in. And, you know, he's very pacey. Poor dribbling again. Don't know if it's a bug. Decent ball control and crossing, but... Yeah, definitely going to be one that we develop for the left-hand side of our midfield. Then we have Bolte. His stats were fairly rounded, right? And I just put him on a training plan to round him out a bit more from a defensive perspective. You can see his stamina is going up, his strength is going up, his reactions and his interceptions are also going up, not to mention aggression. And for me, it was more a matter of, let's see if we can round him out, get his defensive attributes up. Because he has got decent stats. He has decent stats. Only age 17. And he can pass a ball. He can tackle. And he's strong. With decent stamina. So, you know, it's just about seeing how far we can take him. Um, he could potentially be the first Sierra Leonean player to play for Palace as well. As you guys already know. Or maybe you don't know. I was born in Sierra Leone. But raised in England. So it was a welcome addition by EA. Adding those extra countries that we can scout. Next up, we have an attacking midfielder called Siaka Dembele. Um, six foot two attacking midfielder, very strong, very powerful. Only potential is only 75 to 81, but that's still pretty good, to be honest. This is, we're, you know, we're at Palace, we're a mid-table side. We, yes, we're pushing for Europe, but that potential is fairly realistic for the type of club that we are right now. Um, and we can definitely nurture him. He has good passing from you can see his short pass is 61 long pass is 56 um decent acceleration um decent balance it's only 16 so there's a lot of time for him to improve 55 attacking positioning and 58 vision so there's definitely a lot of room for him to improve next up we have ed davy and you saw ed in the youth tournament and he was fantastic very very pacey winger on the right hand side and we got him at the same time as Charles Davison in our youth expedition. And his acceleration is going up. Agility is still going up. Sprint speed is still going up. So there is a lot of upside still to Ed Davey. Attacking position in 60. Composure, 55. Good reactions and, and vision. We're just working on his stamina to get that up. Because he's going to be running a lot if we put him in, in, in the first team. But he has very, very good stats. As you can see, dribbling also already very poor. And you, you would think for a player that's so quick, they would give him good dribbling, right? But dribbling only 35, but he has good ball control and finishing at this very young age. Look forward to Ed Davey, definitely developing. And he might be he might be one of the guys that are pushing to be promoted from the youth squad at the end of this season. And we potentially send him out alone next season. Next up, we have Elaine Andre. You know why we've got Elaine Andre? Because Elaine Andre is the cousin of Arsene Andre that we found in FC24. <laughs> he is the first cousin of Arsene Andre that we found in FC24. And he came, and Arsene Andre in the FC24 career mode was the natural successor 
to Wilfred Zaha as a left midfielder, right midfielder in the Eagles side. So a lane injury is now the natural successor and taking over from where his cousin left off. Decent pace, good passing, good shooting, well-rounded attacking player. He's not the quickest winger that we have within our side. So, you know, he's definitely going to be one of those players that is offering more depth. Height, 5'5", five five, weight 134, left-footed. And it's going to be interesting to see how he develops in the club. Next up, we have Maximov. And Maximov, as you guys saw in the youth tournament, is a very, very interesting prospect, guys. I am looking forward to Maximov. Maximov and Ed Davey, I think those two are definitely going to revolutionise our side when they're, when they're ready to be incorporated in. Acceleration, very good at 88. Sprint speed, 79. Good agility, good balance. Attacking position 61 and reactions. As you already know, dribbling is going to be fairly low, but it's already at 46 with Maximov, which shows that he has the talent. He has the talent. We just have to give him the time to develop. Ball control 70 as well. Good shot power at 60. Long, long pass and long shots also 60, 56. And very good finishing at 62 for his age. You know, Maximov is definitely going to be one of those players that are go that's going to revolutionise the team, like I said, and push us to new levels because we want pacey wingers. Right now, we do have really nice wingers with um, Raksakinio and um, Dembele on one side. Then we also have Ismaili Sar on the left-hand side with Sinclair Armstrong as well. So it's really going to fit in line with the type of players that we have and... Um, they're going to add a new dynamic, a new youthful dynamic to the team, I should say. And next up, we have Joel Manning. We just added Manning to our youth setup and he can play right wing and striker. And he was very, very quick as well. Very quick off the mark. Played very well with the team. He's integrating very well. Strong acceleration, good agility, balance, sprint speed, attacking position 54 and very composed on the ball very very composed and that's what we like to see stamina at 58 is also a good starting point as we make sure that he can play for the majority of the matches ball control 72 really good shot power 53 for his age and also finishing at 60 he's only 17 so there's definitely more to come from him we'll just put him on a training plan to also help his dribbling increase next up we have wakili amos and with wakili amos a bit like Boateng up there, the other Sierra Leonean. It was more a case of let's see how far we can take these guys. Amos, six foot three striker, gonna be very strong. And I initially saw this guy as the natural successor to a Dembele, not Dembele, a natural successor to Edward and Jean Philippe Mateta. Target men type of players, very strong, putting their body about, decent speed. Decent attacking positioning, decent balance and strength for his age. Yeah, I think he can definitely offer something to our side, even if it's about having him on the bench and then we mix up the way that we play. And finally, another new player that we added to the Eagle Academy, Joshua French. And Joshua French looks like he's going to be a fairly good striker as well. Attacking positioning 60, acceleration 69, sprint speed 71, stamina and strength. So a very rounded centre forward in Joshua in Joshua French. Ball control 63 and as you can see dribbling way down there in 24 as well. I think the key thing that we're going to start looking out for moving forward is if we can find youth players with good dribbling. For some reason dribbling is fairly low for the attacking players. Defensive awareness is fairly low for the defensive players. And goalkeeping diving is very low for the goalkeepers. Very strange. And like I've mentioned previously, but Joshua French, yeah, another player that we have as a prospect with an overall potential rating of 82 to 94. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Don't forget to let me know where we can send our final scout. Give me a story. Give me a location. Give me a position. Give me a role. And then we can sort that out ASAP. Also, don't forget to let me know which of our youth players do would you like us to promote to the first team? Because I think we have an objective set by the board to bring up one of them and play and make them play at least 30% of the games. So what do you think about the Eagle Academy, guys? Is there any standout players that you can see? Anyone that you think is ready to make the jump? 
Let me know down below in the comments if there's a single player that you would like to see promoted up to the senior squad and we will see what we can do if we can start their legacy story at the Palace. This episode has been great. It's been about the Eagle Academy. If you have made it this far, hashtag Eagles never die down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will catch you all in the next one. Take care.